Tesla stock is currently struggling to rise above $200, despite recording massive revenues in the previous quarter and increasing delivery to a higher rate. However, although these fundamentals don't reflect on Tesla stock price, its recent values seem to show that there are better days ahead for investors. But on the other hand, could this be the time for Tesla investors to sell their shares? Especially now that the stock price is beginning to see some increase after weeks of continuous dips. Hey guys, welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. In a video link to a recent business conference on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Bali, Musk admitted that he has had to handle more workload since becoming the new owner of Twitter. The Tesla CEO stated that he has too much work on his plate and was working most hours of the day, up to seven days a week. However, Musk has had to do a lot since he became the new owner of Twitter and this has left many Tesla investors concerned about Tesla's well-being. Musk's new company will require a lot of time and commitment to bring back on track to make massive revenue. Musk had previously told Twitter employees in a meeting that Twitter needs to bring in more cash, more so than it spends. In the case where it doesn't, then there's likely going to be negative cash flow, massive negative cash flow, which could lead to bankruptcy. In a recent news, Musk sold more Tesla shares to fund his Twitter deal, even after he had stated that he was done selling company shares. There's no doubt that Twitter is a huge risk to Musk, as he has invested so much in it to acquire the platform. But should it also be an issue for Tesla and its investors? Let's find out. But before we do, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. After Elon Musk sold Tesla shares to fund his Twitter deal, several analysts like Dan Ives have stated their displeasure about the move, with many claiming that Twitter is an unnecessary project for Musk. Following Dan Ives' reaction to the sale of these shares, Tesla stock was recently removed from Wedbush's best ideas list, with Ives citing the overhang from Musk's entanglement with Twitter. Dan Ives stated that Musk's focus has shifted from Tesla to Twitter and this has ultimately caused fear that the Twitter controversy will start to negatively change the Tesla brand globally. According to the stock analysis, Musk is gradually shifting Tesla from its massive position of strength and has managed to do what the bears have unsuccessfully tried for years, which is crushing Tesla stock by his own doing. However, it is important to note that Tesla is performing well and it will continue to do so irrespective of Musk's entanglement with Twitter. The car company has incredible fundamentals, which will continue to boost its profit margin in the future. At the end of its third quarter, Tesla posted total revenues of $21.454 billion, with a gross profit of $5.382 billion. This was total revenue growth of about 56% year-over-year in the third quarter. The automaker's operating income also improved year-over-year -year to $3.7 billion in the third quarter, resulting in a 17.2% operating margin. Tesla is highly focused on ramping up production and has begun expansion in most of its factories in a bid to reach its car production goals. The car company is preparing for a massive expansion of its Gigafactory in Berlin. Tesla is reportedly looking to expand the production output at its Tesla factories in Germany and it's also applying for an expansion on the property's limits of construction. According to a report, Tesla is already preparing to clear the land to make way for an expansion of this German factory. These factories are already recording record high production values, and so by ramping up, Tesla can produce even more EVs. According to some sources who are reportedly familiar with the automaker's plans, Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin could produce up to 2 million vehicles per year. That's more than twice the output of Volkswagen's Wolfberg plant, one of the largest automotive production facilities in the industry. Another report stated that Tesla is expecting a market of about 12 million electric vehicles in Europe. While Tesla did not say much on this issue, a 2 million a year run rate would allow the electric car maker to command about 16% of Europe's electric car market, a significant part of the EV pie in the region, and it will likely boost Tesla's numbers greatly. However, more cars produced may mean that there is a longer wait time for Tesla cars. Wait times for new Tesla models seem to be getting pretty extreme, especially for a Model X. Fortunately, things have leveled out, for the most part. While the Model X still has had its fair share of wait times, up to 11 months in fact, the majority of Tesla's lineup is more readily available. So consumers do not necessarily need to wait too long before their car gets delivered. 
generally the length of the wait depends on which Tesla you're buying and in some cases, what premium add-ons you're ordering with it. Prolonged wait times and delayed deliveries of cars are some major factors that cause investors to be skeptical about Tesla. Several Tesla projects like the RoboTaxi and Cybertruck are yet to hit the market, even years, months after their unveilings. Also, after its announcement in 2019, there's been little sign of that Cybertruck coming to market anytime soon. Initially, deliveries of the all-electric trucks were meant to start in 2022, but that became 2023, and now there's even talk that it's going to be even longer than that. Although the demand for Tesla cars has been growing, there are fears that this demand may be declining, and fears that have worsened with issues relating to inflation and the supply chain. The United States is facing rising recession fears, as the Federal Reserve remains bullish in fighting high inflation, and officials increasingly talk about the need to impose some economic pain to get price pressures under control. In September, the Federal Reserve announced a widely expected fourth consecutive 0.75% hike in interest rates. This comes after several other price hikes in previous times. Rising inflation means consumers' purchasing power drops, and fewer people can afford a Tesla. Tesla cars are already expensive, with the Model 3 costing around $48,190 as of March 2022, and the Model S goes on sale for about $106,190. No doubt Tesla cars are quite expensive, but they are to a large extent worth the amount. The car company recently announced that it was starting to roll out its FSD version 11 update, which is supposed to be the wider release to everyone who bought FSD in North America. FSD Beta enables Tesla vehicles to drive autonomously to a destination entered into the car's navigational system, although the driver does need to keep vigilant and remain in control at all times. Since the responsibility rests with the driver and not with Tesla's system, it is considered a level 2 driver assist system, despite its name, and some updates have seen regressions in terms of driving capabilities. With the release of version 11, Tesla's getting closer to finally achieving its goals of full self-driving technology, which will consequently increase demand. Apart from the FSD, Expected EV credits in the United States is one factor that can cause the automaker's demand to soar in the future, and several Tesla car models will likely benefit from these credits. The Model Y is still technically a small sports utility vehicle, which means that it should qualify for these new EV tax credits based on its price. For SUVs, the maximum manufacturer's suggested retail price is $80,000, which is higher than the base models and some other Tesla EVs. Also, when the Cybertruck does make it to market, there's a chance it will qualify for the EV tax credit. At least that is the MSRP staying above $80,000. That's what it's all resting on. Tesla Cybertruck is made in North America, and the batteries and critical minerals needed are sourced to meet the requirements for the tax credit. There is a significant transition from ICE to EVs, and this transition will become even more massive in the future. During Hertz Q2 earnings call this year, the car rental company disclosed some findings about EVs eroding the ICE residual values in the future. Hertz confirmed that its EV fleet, mostly Model 3s, continues to outperform expectations from a cost, depreciation, maintenance, and customer satisfaction perspective. By comparing both EVs and ICE vehicles, Hertz stated that EVs require only 50-60% to of the maintenance costs that ICE vehicles and EVs do, and deprecation is significantly lower as well. It also added that EVs provide higher customer satisfaction than ICE vehicles, although electric vehicles are still relatively small in terms of their auto industry market amount, the space still has massive potential to grow. Tesla is gaining a lot of market shares, and there are several reasons for this. The automaker stated during its Q3 earnings call that its operating income could be determined by increased average selling price for its cars, growth in vehicle deliveries, as well as higher raw material, logistics, and expedite costs. Do you think Tesla will be affected by Musk's Twitter deal? Let us know down below and don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. If you'd like to know more about what Tesla's been up to in the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there!